Hi, my name is Shelby Redfield Kilgore and I am the filmmaker of all these foster care and adoption films on this YouTube channel. I have also been candidly sharing about my breast cancer journey since I was first diagnosed right after the pandemic hit. I am adopted from South Korea and as someone who was adopted internationally through a closed adoption, finding out that I am BRCA2 positive after working with a geneticist was very eye-opening for me. I never realized how important it was to have access to family health history. And in many ways, I wish I had started that search to uncover family health history many, many years ago. And after the pandemic hit, after I found out I had breast cancer, stage three breast cancer, I also started another family search to uncover as much family health history as I could. And that has been quite an emotional journey for me and it has been incredibly frustrating at times and as I have been battling breast cancer for the past couple of years and I'm at a point in my life now where I'm undergoing rigorous treatment to help prevent the cancer from returning but the side effects of the medications that I'm on and the treatment are really tough for me and it creates a lot of fatigue for me, dizziness, nausea, severe headaches, constant headaches. And also I have to continue undergoing scans and MRIs, blood work, seeing tons of doctors and this will be routine for the rest of my life and I don't know how much more I can physically, emotionally, spiritually take on this terrible health journey of mine. My body has turned against me and it just seems like it's falling apart. And so my passion work of filming about foster care and adoption, having the energy to continue filming about my breast cancer journey. I have had to take breaks <laughs> over the years and I am so grateful for a dear friend of mine, Veronica, uh, who has kept spreading education and awareness about adoption and foster care and mental health through our social media platforms uh, rooted in adoption. And she runs our Etsy shop and any of the profits help go to Veronica and I in our endeavors to continue our work in the foster care and adoption space. And just recently, Veronica put on the Etsy page coloring pages to download and they are for adult adoptees. And so I really hope that you will go to our Etsy shop and purchase them. And I uh, decided to uh, color one of the coloring pages and I chose the one that says equal rights for adoptees. It hits very close to home for me as I am fighting for my right to have equal access to my family health history. And coloring, for me, it helped to calm me and to help put me in the present. And I find it very, very relaxing. It's almost a way of meditating. It's, it's different, but it's, it's a form of meditation. It calms your amygdala. As someone who has been going through the pandemic, like everyone else, but also battling for my life, uh, as a breast cancer survivor, I have turned to anything I can think of or try to help me process everything that I've been going through, all the physical trauma that I went through, am currently going through, and what is ahead for me as well. Uh, in many ways, I feel like 
I have come to a point in my life where it's becoming too much. And so I'm trying to take a step back and do as much self-care as I can. I have a therapist still. I have been diving into watercolor painting now, which is also very, very calming for me and helps to focus my attention on what I'm doing, the task that I'm doing, and helps me to let everything sort of just drift away. And it's a nice break from dealing with all of the trauma, the emotions that I've been having to go through. I also am really excited to share about the song that I composed about and recorded about my cancer journey called I Want You To Know. And I decided to have sheet music created for it so that it could be shared with other people that might want to learn how to play it and to sing it. And Veronica was so kind enough and generous to create this elegant cover for the sheet music and that is also on our Etsy shop. And so I hope that you will go as well to the Etsy shop and purchase the sheet music uh, that I wrote. Again, all of the proceeds from purchasing items on the Rooted in Adoption Etsy shop goes to Veronica and I and our efforts in spreading foster care and adoption awareness. <laughs> it means the world to me that you continue to come to watch the videos on my YouTube channel and for anyone new to this YouTube channel, I hope that you will go back and watch uh, the other videos that I have posted since 2012. Everything is evergreen. All the stories all of the lived experiences that I've captured uh, from other people in the adoption constellation and from my own experience as an adoptee and also as a cancer survivor is meant to help those telling their stories, to help them process, to help them heal, but also to let other people know that they aren't alone, to let other people possibly outside of the adoption constellation to get a better understanding of what it's like to be an adoptee. Uh, there are just so many people that are impacted by adoption and I, I hope to continue this passion work once I get the energy again to continue documenting other people's stories and my own story as well. Thank you again for coming and supporting my work and Veronica's work. <laughs>